Hey everybody, today I'm going to talk about the new Desert Essence um, fragrance free shampoo and conditioner. Um, I bought it because it is fragrance free and um, my husband and I are pretty sensitive to that and we don't like any synthetic fragrance whatsoever. So we wanted to try this out because we tried the coconut kind last time and it was good but it was synthetic at least we thought. It seemed pretty fake, so we wanted to go with something that's completely free of fragrance. Okay, so I wanted to mention what it says on the back of the bottles as far as kind of what it's about, what it, what it doesn't have in it, which is important to me. So on the organic shampoo it says it's 100% vegan and wheat and gluten free. There's no parabens, no sodium lauryl sulfates, which is very important to me. I do not use anything with sodium lauryl sulfates in it. Uh, phthalates, artificial fragrances or colors, silicones, EDTA, glycol, or petroleum-based ingredients. So that is why I picked this up because all the conventional shampoos and conditioners that I used to use have so many chemicals and always use sodium lauryl sulfate as well as fragrances. It's just not good and I have thrown those away. It also says that it is um, cruelty-free and biodegradable formula. So no animal testing of raw materials or finished products, no phosphates. So that's wonderful. That's the main reason I would buy this and because it works. So yeah. What's weird is the shampoo is organic, but the conditioner isn't. They kind of smell a little bit like chlorine, like a pool almost, but not exactly like bleach or anything. It just smells kind of like chemicals. It's kind of weird. Um, but it doesn't seem like there's anything in here that would be like that. There are some uh, sulfates in there from coconut, so if you're not okay with that, I would not get this. Um, there were a few ingredients that I wanted to address with you so that you could understand what they are, because I didn't know at first either, looking at it like, okay, what's that? So I'm going to mention the first one, and that is sodium chloride. If you don't know what sodium chloride is, it is simply salt. And a lot of times, it's not so good to have salt in your shampoo and conditioner because salt can dry out your hair. So just so you know, these do have salts in them as well as alcohols. So if you are not wanting to use that on your hair, do not get these. The second thing that's in this shampoo and conditioner actually is potassium sorbate. And um, that is basically potassium salt from sorbic acid. And it's naturally occurring in some berries, um, however, virtually all of the world's production of sorbic acid is um, made synthetically. If you are worried about that, I would also not get it for this reason. Um, both conditioner and the shampoo have that in it. Potassium sorbate has also been known to be a skin, eye, and um, respiratory irritant. So that's also a concern, and I've also read that it can um, damage DNA. So um, if you are at all worried about that, again, avoid this. I'm also going to mention that the shampoo, I really liked it. It cleansed my hair really nicely. It didn't feel like it was stripping at all. It made my hair feel really soft, and it cleaned it well. It got rid of all the excess residue, which some of the natural shampoo and conditioners that I've tried have not done that, so I'm really glad that it did. It was very effective. I liked it. So the conditioner. I loved this. It felt really good. It's nice and thick. It goes on your hair really nicely. It smooths on really nice. You leave it in there for like a minute and then you rinse it out and my hair feels really soft. And once my hair is dry, it feels super soft. It, it's awesome. I like this. So I'm totally going to butcher this word, but um, a lot of natural um, shampoos and conditioners tend to have this. Um, it's Behentrimonium chloride. Um, it says, when I read about it, it says that it's an organic compound that conditions fight static and softens hair. Um, there are conflicting information about whether it's good or whether it's bad. The only true evidence that's ever come out about it, about it being maybe negative, is that it can cause some skin irritation in some people. Um, but that's really all that they have to go off of. Um, I didn't really find any evidence or proof that it was bad, um, so it's really up to you whether you want to go for it or not. It seems to be okay, and um, it just depends on your skin if you have 
some kind of irritation to it. I personally don't have sensitive skin like that, so I haven't had any problems with it, but some people may. I don't know. At the bottom of the ingredients list, there's something called dehydroacetic acid, is what I'm assuming. <laughs> I'm terrible at that kind of thing. But anyway, if you're wondering what it was, um, it's also an organic compound, and it's used as a fungicide and a bactericide, so it is natural, don't worry about it, it's just a big word, and um, it's fine to use, it's nothing chemical or anything like that. My last thoughts on these is, I like it, I would repurchase it, even though there are some alcohol and salt in it, just because they work really well for my hair, I like them a lot, I used it today, um, it makes my hair really shiny, really soft, smooth, it conditions it. I love the conditioner and I also love the shampoo. It's just that they're not as the purest of pure, if you know what I mean. But they are much purer than a couple of the natural, other natural shampoos and conditioners that I have. So I would pick this up over some of those. If you are looking for completely organic, like shampoo and conditioner, um, obviously they are both not organic, only the shampoo is. So that might be a problem. I don't personally care uh, as long as it's natural ingredients or as natural as I can get. The reason why I would repurchase this over say 100% pure is because of the price. Um, these are eight, eight to nine dollars a piece whereas 100% pure is twenty five dollars per bottle and you don't get much more in that versus this is an eight ounce. Uh, yeah, these are both eight ounces so Price-wise, this is why I would get it again, and also because it works. Uh, but I would really like to try to find something that's completely natural, that I can afford, that works. So stay tuned if you want to learn more about what I have tried myself as far as natural cosmetics, um, skin care, hair care, and all that fun stuff. Thank you guys for watching, and I'd love to see you again. Bye!